Does forward-facing sonar help you catch more fish? That's what we're gonna talk about right now. Before we get into it, if you like this kind of content, videos with opinions and tackle reviews and other stuff, click that like and subscribe button and become part of the team and family. Forward-facing sonar has been one of the hot topics on the internet. There's people who get a video every week about it. There's people who argue and debate which one is it good for pro tournament fishing? Is it bad for pro tournament fishing? Is it not good for conservation? Is it helping anglers catch more fish there's lots of questions that come with forward-facing sonar but as a professional tournament angler forward-facing sonar is a must you must be great at it you must know the ins and outs of it and it does help anglers catch more fish now i've watched the, the the ben milliken video and i've watched some randy blockett's videos and other people and read comments and seen what most fans think of forward-facing sonar some people think it's cheating some people think it should be banned i can understand it as someone who really appreciates anglers who are conservationists I do believe that at some point in time, forward-facing sonar will have an effect on what a bass does and how it reacts. I think it does slightly now, but the technology is so still new. But looking at what has happened in the past to what is now present is where I wanted to look at things. I love statistics, and when I looked at the Ben Milliken video, there were lots of things that I thought were very correct with it, but I questioned some little things about it, and it made me start to think about if forward-facing sonar really did help you catch more fish and I think it does just me that's just my opinion my opinion with that is because I think if you go someplace and have that technology on your boat and you're really good at it you can find fish I do agree it doesn't mean you're going to catch fish but as someone who's a bank angler the only way I can explain it to you is when I go to the topwater Johnny Pond and may he rest in peace the first times we went and fished there, I would catch one or two fish. And as I quickly learned what the fish were doing, where were they were staging, what structure they wanted to be by, then fishing became a lot easier. Now, if I had a boat, and now let me just say, that took four or five trips to get that figured out, and two pretty decent anglers at the same time fishing different lures to figure that out. Now, if I was in a boat and had forward-facing sonar, I'd be able to see those fish and see how they react to my lures. And if I had that technology, I probably could have figured out the little pond in one or two hours. Now, it doesn't mean I would have caught them, but if I know where they are and how they react to certain baits, it would have helped me. I think forward-facing sonar and the technology helps you or eliminates you from blind casting. In the past, KVD and other anglers were power fishermen, and if you ever watched KVD in 10 years or 15 years ago when he was on that tear, he was a power fisherman that was moving constantly to find fish, find that big fish. Forward-facing sonar takes that right out of the, the gamut for you. You're able to scope those fish, find out where they are, and target them. There's no more blind casting. There's no more just being stupid fishing. You're able to go out there, find a spot, scope it, and move on even faster than what KVD used to do when he fished at the highest level. And in the past, I think power fishing was the way to go. These days, I believe finesse fishing and using your drop shots and using your smaller baits and things like that is key to an angler being very successful. But does it help you catch more fish? So first, I think we have to agree over the last five or six years, forward facing technology has really been just tuned, dialed in and tuned to another level. And pro anglers who are great at it are succeeding more than anglers who are not good at it. And years ago, we thought Jacob Wheeler was crazy to have three different brands on the front of his boat. But having those three different brands, which do things slightly different and slightly better than the next, help him catch more fish. And while I appreciate all the people who love it and all the people who don't like forward-facing sonar, I think that there's some key things that we need to look at. So here's some of the statistics that I think kind of show why forward-facing sonar does help you catch more fish. And I'm looking at this statistically. I'm not looking at it overall. In 2013, Major League Fishing Summit Cup went to Lake Toho or Lake Iztapoca. That's what they call it down here. And Edwin Evers was in first place and he caught 17 fish for 27.10 in one of the Major League Fishing Summit Cups where every fish counted. Second place was Ish Monroe with 17.03. He caught eight fish 
And then third was KVD with 911 and he caught six fish. So while this isn't the same body of water, Istapoca and the Harris chain are probably separated by 30 minutes, 45 minutes of drive time. And I could be wrong here, but I think it was 2022. The Harris chain, Atifo won and caught 30 fish for 73 pounds and 14 ounces in the championship round. All these are championship round scores. Bobby Lane caught 22 fish for 46.13, and third place was Brent Chapman. He caught 21 fish for 45.07. And even more significant than that, when every fish counts last year at the same place, Istapoca is on the Kissimmee chain of lakes. Last year, Major League Fishing went to the Kissimmee chain, and Chris Lane came in first place. His 10 fish totaled 49.03. Second place was Mark Davis with 48.10, and then Atifo was in third place with 45.13. Now, if you look at that, in 2013, the winning every fish counts where where forward facing sonar was not being as was not being used like it is now the winning poundage was 17 fish for 27 10. if you look at last year on the Kissimmee chain of lakes where they only caught the best five fish so 10 fish total they caught 4903 now different time of the year all different circumstances that happen but you can see that bigger fish are being caught right away chris caught 2302 on one day and 2601 on another day and Edwin caught 2710 with 17 fish. So if you just take Chris's last day, he almost was right there with Edwin, who caught 12 more fish than Chris's five fish, where forward facing sonar plays a huge part. Now, I'm going to do another video because Major League Fishing is going to Dale Hollow Lake, which is an absolutely phenomenal place to go fish. And they went back there in 2017. They're planning on going there this year. In 2017, forward facing sonar wasn't as prevalent as it is. Is now so we're gonna mash up those statistics versus the 2024 season and see how they differ and see if forward facing sonar really is helping anglers catch more fish like I said I do believe if you're a professional angler you need to have it on your boat it does help you catch more fish I believe that I don't know what you guys think you can comment below and tell me what you think I think that it not only helps you catch more fish it helps you see the reaction of the fish and it helps you find fish and if you're able to find fish you're more likely to be able to catch them because if you're just blind casting willy-nilly at everything in the pond you're just wasting time whereas finding the fish and scoping them and knowing what they're doing or how they're reacting or the depth that they're at you're able to transform the fishing that you're doing right then to enable those fish to like the bait that you're using and changing baits and doing anything else that you can entice them to bite. I do understand there's so much up and down with anglers and people and content creators fighting for what they believe in. But the technology is absolutely outstanding. And I've mentioned it several times. I do believe if you're a pro angler, you have to have it. Does it make us as fans not enjoy the viewing of professional bass fishing tournaments? For sure, I've said that recently a lot of times. I do think that when the anglers are staring down at like what I have to do, I have a piece of paper a pad and I'm reading it and looking over the stats and what I'm going over and not give you the, the information as wrong as possible, but I do get stuff wrong. But when they're doing that, looking down for eight, nine, 10 hours, it just becomes a little boring for fans. And it's been really obvious after the first week of tournament fishing that everybody who fished major league fishing or a majority of them used for using forward facing sonar, they were the top anglers. And if you were in the Bassmaster Open, using forward-facing sonar helped you find those big fish, and then you could target them because you're only keeping five. And if you got those bites, you won. And Scott Martin did. This is the first shallow scope I've ever seen. I never thought it would ever happen, but it does, and it is. But what do you think? What is your thoughts? I know there are a lot of people that just dislike forward-facing sonar, but we have to. you have to agree with me. Well, you don't have to. If you were a pro angler, you would be using it too. It sucks from a fan perspective for viewers, but those guys are out there to catch fish to win. They're not worried about who's watching them. Amongst, um, amazingly as that might sound, or weird as it might sound, they're not worried about viewership. They're worried about catching fish and winning money. And at some point in time, we need to just say, okay, this is just our life as it is. We might not like it. It might 
might not be what we think is right or might not help us in the future with conservation or our catches in the future, but these guys are paying a lot of money to pay to play to be in fishing tournaments. And they're out there to make a living. And it stinks. That's how our bass fishing community is right now. So comment below and tell me what you think. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. I will talk to you soon. Cheers.